Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my kitchen. What are we doing today? We're making Mother's Day brunch and we're gonna have a cocktail and a mocktail. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> foremost if you're already subscribed to my channel I want to say thank you so very much if you are not yet subscribed subscribe button notification bell that way you won't miss out on vi any videos let's get started okay you guys so the first thing we're gonna uh, do is the ice cubes for the cocktail mocktail and um, what you need is a mold now I thought a rose mold was perfect for on um, Mother's Day and then you want to grab yourself some edible glitter edible glitter <laughs> not craft glitter edible glitter um, it looks like this and what I got was rose gold okay and now what I'm gonna do is stop here I am gonna show you how simple it is So, you saw how I made the little rose uh, ice. Well, I got more creative. So, the ones that I showed you were just diet cranberry juice, which is the ones that I will use because I can do a low carb uh, cocktail with those. But look at these. What I did was do orange juice, half, let it freeze, make sure you put the glitter, right? And then the rest of it, diet cranberry. Now I can't do this one because there isn't a low carb orange juice, but how beautiful are these? I recently ordered um, diamonds. I know, those. I can't wait to show those to you. I will definitely show. So what I do is I just start, I put them in a bag. That's all, because they're already frozen. They pop out of the mold super easy. And um, so we'll do the cocktail. Let's get to cooking. Uh, for any sure curry board, I always uh, do some sort of fruit. So for this one, I did grapes and blackberries. I had strawberries, but Matthew ate them all. <laughs> he did all of them. So, um, by the way, I can I, I highly recommend this faucet. I'll list it. Um, it's a touch, but what's really cool is that, um, and it pulls out. But which, and it does have the little sprayer, but it's really cool is it'll do a wine glass. Can you see that? Water, uh, look at that. Look at, it's awesome. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna give them a little spritz. First thing, bacon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in my oven. It's faster. Guys, if you're looking for a really useful towel, um, this has a rubber hook on it that stays on. You throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer, it stays like new. Look how big it is. I use it to pull stuff out of the oven. And what it does is this. And you always have a towel. This one blends in because it's black. They come in all sorts of colors. Mushrooms. I'm gonna make sausage later. We've got chopped up peppers. Uh, multi kinds. We've got heavy cream. We've got diced ham, and we've got mozzarella, and we've got sharp cheddar. So we've got a couple different cheeses, and we have some green onions. So this is the rest of. The, obviously, we need eggs.
Okay, you guys, so we've made the little frittatas. We, the bacon's in the oven, that's almost done. Frittatas will go in next. We're gonna make little mini bris. I know, baked bris. These are my favorite. Um, now, I use them as snacks, but I think that they are gonna go great with a charcuterie board. Normally, no joke, normally, of course, I'd use a big round wheel of brie. <laughs> Um, and do exactly the same thing, and you can do that. This is just another play. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is take these little mini bris, and they make a great snack if you are on keto. And I'm just gonna like, do like a little X on it. See, they just fit perfect in this one. See, little mini bris. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of honey, and I realize this isn't keto, but a little bit of honey is definitely not gonna hurt anything. Come on. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit of honey. You can leave this step out. And I'm gonna take a little bit of cranberries. Now these are so tiny, right? I'm just gonna stick a few little cranberries on top. Really all I'm doing is heating these up. So this takes a second. You could pop it in the microwave, honestly. And then I love pecans, so we're gonna do a little bit of pecans. And the honey helps everything stick, by the way. Those are adorable. Okay, so now they're ready to go. What I did with like the leftover ham and stuff like that is I mixed it all together. Ham, if there was a little peppers and stuff like that, perfect. I'm gonna seal it and it'll be great to do an omelet. Ideally, Jimmy Dean makes these. Pop them in the air fryer, simplest thing ever. They didn't have them, um, so I am using ground sausage, mild. I'm gonna form them into little patties. Something told me to check my bacon, and it is ready. Over the oven to 350. And I'm gonna put my little frittatas in, or mini quiches without crust, whatever you wanna call them. And I put them um, to make it easier and sturdier for me. Okay, so we can be bad. <laughs> or we could be good. <laughs> I like being bad sometimes. Remember when I said you were being bad? You're not. Here's the reason, because... Truvia. I have Truvia in every form that they make, including brown sugar. Yes. So, we're gonna take a little bit of brown sugar, and I'm going to just sprinkle it on the bacon. Well, this is so tiny amount, you guys. It's, seriously, it's really not that bad. Come over here and make a little mess with our hands. Ugh. I know, I like the Jimmy Dean already done sausage that goes into the thing, but you gotta work with what you have. Take my... make them. I like them really, really flat. In the oven just to finish cooking. Pancake time, yay! This is your all knowing pancake mix. So I'm gonna do about that much and then water, okay, mix. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. When I say a little bit, yeah, sure. The pancakes. Little does he know that what I do is put dark chocolate and it's Lily's chocolate, so it's low carb. <laughs> yep. I see a lot of chocolate chips. And see, they're mini. Okay. There you go. And then this one, we'll do... This one is vanilla and cinnamon sugar. So I said plain, but they're really not plain. So let's put it all together. Now, I can make this as big or as small as I need to. Again, 
I'm only serving three and it's dinner and it's not Mother's Day. I'm going to see if I can just use the tray that I showed you in the Mother's Day gift video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll list it in the description box, all right? So the great thing about that tray is it's multi-dimensional, meaning uh, multi-use. So um, what I'm gonna do, here, let me just show you the tray. Here it is, here it's, you, I started, I already started, but here, we're gonna start from scratch. Um, what's great about this, let me move this here, is that these are magnetic, the ends. So you can have a round one and a square one, or you can put them together and make a big one. And if you carry it, uh, although if there's food on here, I would definitely carry it with both hands where the magnets are. Um, so we're gonna use this. I do use parchment or butcher block paper if I'm putting stuff that I don't want soaked into the wood, if you will. Several of them. I have just ham and cheese here, uh, ham, cheese, and peppers, and then we have the vegetarian, if you will, which is green onions and the mushrooms and mozzarella, and the others have the, the cheddar. So I just picked uh, two of each uh, for right now, and so we'll sit them. And obviously, you guys, it's my family, my hands. Yes, I get it. Um, sour cream, and I just mix it up so it's, I can just do a little dollop on each one. Um, if it was people I didn't know, <laughs> I might not necessarily do this. So we'll put some on. Um, so blueberries, pecans, okay? Because we're gonna do the pancakes. Um, and all I did was, again, we, you, we could do a million different kinds. I did vanilla and cinnamon sugar and uh, chocolate chip. So we'll put, okay. Okay, so then we have sausage and bacon. Um, what is in here is syrup that I heated. So we have our little sausage patties, carpet bacon. So we're gonna put it right here. Um, so bacon, and then we're gonna do mini bagels, strawberry cream cheese, regular cream cheese. I'm just gonna do those. Let's get his reaction. Mm. Bacon, that's my reaction. No, but it's not just regular bacon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but do you know that it's brown sugar, right? Yeah. But it's um, low carb brown sugar. Wow. Mm -hmm. We have our little brie bites, so I covered this section. I needed another little section here, so I added the blueberries and the pecans together. So we have some grapes. I'm gonna put over here, and I just made little bundles, right? So everybody could just grab a little bundle. We'll do some blackberries over here. And I know that I'm gonna do my little brie bites in the middle. Mint is the perfect garnish. Come you guys, yes, I'm using my hands. I can just grab them better. Aren't those the cutest things? Oh, so freaking adorable. So the feast is here. Mother's Day charcuterie board. We have these beautiful flowers that you can get right off of Amazon. Veluspa candle, my favorite. And then we are going to do two different cocktails. So we have these gorgeous um, gl edible glitter infused diet cranberry roses, little sprig of mint. That is gonna be our cocktail. The mocktail has half uh, orange juice, half cranberry juice in the mold with a blackberry. So here we go. We are going to, again, I told you about these. Favorite, I'm half old now. All right, so we're going to pour that one for the cocktail. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, and it's instantaneously that it starts to sparkle. And then we're gonna take bubbly. This is blackberry bubbly water, sparkling water. You could of course use uh, Martinelli's. Ooh, our little blackberry was like, can't hold on. So we have our Prosecco with the edible glitter 
with the Diet Cranberry Rose. And you can already see the little sparkles happening. It's really beautiful. And as that melts, it will continue to have that luminescence. And then for the mocktail, we did the same rose, a little bit of glitter, half orange juice, half Diet Cranberry juice, because that's what I have, and then blackberry bubbly water. So we added a couple blackberries. We have the syrup that I've already warmed up, so if you were doing this, you could just drizzle it right across and then have a little extra here. That would look beautiful. Array of frittatas, uh, candied bacon, as well as regular bacon. Uh, some blackberries and then our little mini breeze that are topped with a little bit of honey and um, cranberries and pecans. Well, that is it. That is my Mother's Day charcuterie board. I am going to take a little sip of the cocktail. Nothing like a little Prosecco. And it just, it just adds that little something something. And when this starts to melt, y'all, that iridescence is pretty cool. Take a little uh, sip of the mocktail. Mm. Bubbly water. And as this melt, it just adds a little something something. There's a brie bite, because they're my favorite. Mm. Okay, let's give it a try. Low carb, you guys. Mmm. Perfection. That is perfection, you guys. All right, I'll try the candied bacon. Um, if I can fool my husband, this is no brainer. It's really good, but I like regular bacon. Um, my son's gonna flip for that one.